Hey there! As I was a walking down by the lobby, as I was a walking one morning of lays, who should I spy but my new made quattro, made of waxed canvas? So hard is his fate. I hadn't thought about the last line yet, I'm sorry. Anyway, I thought because I was focusing on this product today, I wouldn't show you my face, it's not that interesting, and it, it really makes my life a bit easier when it comes to editing videos. So, Lockby, Chris, I mean Lockby's, Lockby apostrophe S, Lockby's Chris sent me this product. I love Lockby products. I've been extensively using this, the uh, uh, large field journal, and uh, it's, it's great. I have to be a little careful because there are some work notes in here that are kind of proprietary at this point. But in any case, holds multiple notebooks with um, Tomoe River paper in it, all that kind of stuff. Has a little carrying carrying handle. I love I love this thing. I really love it. So anyway, I was very excited that Chris had launched a new product, and I thought that today I would show this to you. This is the Quattro, and uh, just in general, the Lockby products are made of dry waxed canvas which is very very strong i mean nothing is indestructible in this universe but it is the canvas is very very strong because there's dry wax it should really protect your pens nicely it has a ykk zipper it's a very good zipper brand it's also nylon which is less scratchy than a metal zipper would be which is nice for the pens on the inside and uh, it has double stitching and bar stacking throughout now in in my other video on logby products i go into a little bit about bar into bar stacking but i thought today we try to keep it really simple and really just focus on the product so what do we have well uh, we have on the outside a pocket here which is actually very nice for business cards this is the most disgusting business card i'm sorry i'm, I'm really sorry I, I don't even think i can in good faith give this to anyone anymore i don't even know like anyway i keep this in my wallet okay i just want to show you if you have a business card it fits so a stack of business cards fits i should i will now incinerate this um, then we have a little side here, so this is a pocket, let me open it up, I'll show you the inside in just a second, but so here you have another pocket, right? Now the fun thing is, this is one big pocket, right, so this is one pocket for your business card, this is another pocket, and it has a bit of hook and loop as a closure. Now because that, that hook and loop doesn't go all the way there, that basically creates a second pocket there. So that means that theoretically you could close this up, have a pen in there, and I mean it will come out, but unless you do that, I think it's in there pretty securely. Because if I turn this upside down, as you can see, it doesn't really fall out. So impressive, nice, that's good. So we have the business card pouch, we have the pocket here, if you have other things that you would like to keep protected, like so that this this will not be your fate, um, then I, I was kind of hoping you'd be able to fit it in that way. And I think you just can. And you could close it off. So I'm thinking here, I'm thinking more something like bank cards that you really don't want to fall out. You can do that. Okay, now I can't remove it. Of course, I have a PhD. I could figure out that if I open this, that becomes a lot easier. See, it's right there, PhD. Anyway, okay. Now the inside. What's so interesting about the inside? Well, Lockby, Chris, but Lockby I find puts a lot of um, thought, ironic, I had to think about that word, puts a lot of thought into the products that it makes. So what I'm doing right now off, like off, uh, off camera is just grab a couple of pens so I can show you what this works like. What this works like, how this works. Okay, talking and doing that at the same time is not easy. I should have done that before, but I forgot. Now, here's what's really spectacular about this in my mind. You may not see it at first sight, but these pockets are offset, not only because two face down and two face up, but they're offset from each other. You see this band here, and that band is on that side, on the other side, and that's interesting. So, let's take some pens. Here's a Multani. I picked some, some pretty big pens, so I just want to see how that fits. This is quite big, Opus 88, Omar. Let's see what fits and doesn't fit, fits perfectly. That's a big pen. Uh, here I have a Noodler's Triple Tail, slip it in. And then I thought, 
just a nice metropolitan got it in now because this is offset when you close it the pens don't actually really contact each other I don't know how well I can show you this because of course the caps won't line up but these pens are very comfortably sandwiched you see so here's a pen there's a pen and here is a pen but not against this so they don't hit each other and even if even if this opening right would be there they would still not hit each other which is really neat but I kind of like this offset because I think it looks really cool to have two pens at the top two pens at the bottom the only thing of course to be aware of is opening this up because theoretically you see that moved so theoretically if you open this up the pen could slide out and, I mean you have the clip I don't see anything really falling out but if you have some sort of tiny pen like this pocket pen which is also quite heavy and you choose not to use the clip then I suppose it could fall out right but then you are making all kinds of interesting life choices okay is there anything else yes there is something else this in itself is a, a little pouch now it's very 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 thin so I think at best what you could what you could slip in there this one is is not by the way just this one is something like a pencil like an actual wooden pencil because it, you can see even this part of Metropolitan doesn't fit with the yard lead fit the yard lead does fit but I have to push it in quite far did you know this was for sale by the way anyway um, <laughs> So we have these two pens, large pens, they fit. And then someone's gonna say, what about the Mickey Emperor? Doesn't the Mickey Emperor fit? Does it not fit? Yes, it fits. I just don't think you'll be able to close your, no. So if you're okay with, okay. I was pinching it the wrong way. If you're okay with carrying your Emperor this way, then you could, okay? But doesn't the man, does, does the Genkai fit? Does this fit? Does the Pelican 93785 fit? I don't know. Okay? And um, as I've just shown you, this is a really big pen and it fits. So if this really big pen fits, then I'm assuming that a lot of other big pens of similar size will also fit. Okay? I would see no issues with an M1000. I would foresee no issues with a, with a 149. But I don't have one at hand right now, so I cannot test it. But given that this is a massive freaking pen, I think you're okay. Okay. So there is that. Beyond that, I don't think there's a whole lot more to say about this. Um... So, let's talk about what I like and what I don't like about it. <laughs> Smooth transition. Uh, there's a few things that I really like. First of all, it's a vegan product. And I'm not a vegan, but I have vegan friends. And I know that for some vegan friends, it's very difficult to find pen cases that work. Because many pen cases are leather. And if you are a vegan, you do not like leather. So, this you can give to anyone. And I don't think anyone can object to canvas so that is pretty safe bet second thing I love is it's solid and I yeah I, I, I love it I'm pretty sure with these shapes this is ripstop nylon so that is a very strong material the canvas is very strong the zipper is strong it is constructed strong the double stitching and everything like it's it's I, I, I know this doesn't officially have the um, the connotation but I mean like the word mill spec comes to mind. This is a very, very, very strong product. So I really like that. And to me, best of all, these products are so affordable. This thing is 34 US. 34 US. And think of the average leather case for four pence. You would probably be looking at a hundred bucks around that, that price. So I think that's amazing and the, the, the thought, again, the thought that goes into all of these products, look at my other Lockbee review if, if you're interested, it's a consistent level of thought that goes into every little feature which I really, really enjoy. So anything I don't like about it? Well, not a whole lot. I think this is a pretty freaking solid product uh, to be entirely honest. Having said that, what I think would be cool but that would I think be would require some some changes to how this is designed but given that log B makes and I I forgot to take one out and I apologize uh, small size Tomoe River notebooks I think it would be really neat if this would actually be a flap and you would have the two pens and you could put 
a notebook, the, the, the back cover of the notebook behind this, or even the entire notebook, so that you you have that notebook. Now, the, the think about what the downside to that is. If you would have that notebook with the back cover in here, and you would open it up, you can't have pens in here because you can't write on that notebook with, with two pens there. That, that won't work. So I understand that, that choice. Plus, there are the small uh, f um, field journal covers that they make, which do exactly that, right? They, they do that. So they have a product that, that you can put the little notebook in if you want that. I just thought it would be cool as a thing. I don't know if it's, if it's possible to, to, to make that and if anyone would be interested in that, of course. But that, that would be something that I would, I would, in principle, I would have enjoyed seeing. But having said that, I think this is a great product. I think it is very nicely priced. I, um, I don't know what to tell you. It's uh, Logby is solid. And that's just all I can say. Affordable products of this quality, consistent quality because I've seen a bunch of their products now. That's really pretty impressive. So, Logby, Chris, keep it up. Keep it up. You're doing a great job. Hope this was useful. Glad to see you later. Bye bye.